Hi, it's Richard here from On Demand Education with part 6 of our What's New in Innovation Pack 2014. This one has been a bit more of a struggle. It's concerning the disconnected mobile. The setup of the disconnected mobile client passes through several distinct phases. The first phase is the creation of the necessary user with typical position and responsibility. This is in no way changed. The second stage involves creating the mobile client. Going to the sitemap, make sure you don't go to Administration Mobile, Administration Siebel Remote, but instead to Administration Siebel Mobile, Mobile Clients. Creating the mobile client follows the pattern from the previous release. You create a mobile client, give them a client ID, the application will append the word mobile to it. You will choose a language pack and an application and a routing model and that should all sound fairly familiar to you. Then you are ready to run the job to extract the database. We never got this to work. We had to use parallel database extract component instead, but it worked nonetheless after that. When we launch the job, let's take a moment to go and look at some folders on the Siebel server side. On the Siebel server in SES, Sieb server, or wherever it is, we had to manually create the HH sync folder and the subfolder for our application before the data extract could continue. In addition, there was a significant amount of configuration, well documented of course, that required us to modify the contents of one of the standard component groups by adding a new component definition that was a copy of an existing component. There was also a challenge that one of the component groups appeared to be empty for no reason. When we look at the component group for non-SIA components in respect of disconnected mobile, you will have to create a copy of the existing data extract component for your application and reconfigure it. Uh, make sure that you activate it. Now I'm going to log out of my existing user here in the mobile application and log in using my new user. Those of you with good eyesight will notice that the previous satellite laser has been replaced with a aeroplane as the icon for accessing the disconnected mobiles functionality. If you are testing this on a sandbox be aware of messages such as this one, which indicates that you have previously extracted to this machine for a given user and you are now trying to do it for another user. So make sure you completely clear the cache between testing sessions. Now that we've cleaned up our application, I'll log back in again and we'll go to the aeroplane icon. Notice in passing that now the notification area is used to signal the arrival or the availability of data, um, which I find extremely good idea. So when one gets an error message saying, please try again later, one is a little less worried because you can actually see when the notification arrives telling you that your data extraction has finished or that your data upload has finished and so on. The actual graphics and the underlying mechanism appears to be the same. Uh, the sliding green bar allowing us to see whether we are uploading or downloading and fundamentally the application behaves in exactly the same way as the mobile application we spoke about earlier today. Those of you who are of an inquisitive nature will enjoy digging into the HH sync folder and looking at the data extraction that has occurred. Um, you'll find some familiar pieces and also some pieces which tend to make us feel like we're coming back towards the old Siebel handheld. But that's for another day and another discussion. Look forward to seeing you very shortly for the next installment in our What's New in Innovation Pack 2014. Take care.